everybody, welcome back to the Three Con Conquistadors Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, also a Roomba. Hello, everybody. And Mathis. Howdy, howdy. So we uh, just got finished with uh, one major loss of a war, followed by a relatively, well, I would say it was a major win because I was involved with it. Uh, and I've kind of expanded your butt to the end of the Spanish Peninsula here. Arumba and Mathis got their own wars to fight, but uh, Arumba, or sorry, Mathis is uh, completely incapable now. So it should be an exciting so, episode. Probably Mathis will die in this episode. I don't. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> that I would be my so. guess. You, no, uh, no. I don't, I, I've I, been I, I've been trying to get you off life support for weeks. You know, I don't, I don't <laughs> believe in that. <laughs> how, does, how does your air look anyway? Uh, he's he's got, got, right? Yeah, he's got okay stats. Yeah, he's not bad. He's almost of age, so that's a good thing, I guess. He's <clears> a, a bit a bit deceitful, but. Well, it was that or it became arbitrary. I had to choose. Hmm. Okay, so we have begun again. I'm ready. Um. Hmm. How's the Pope okay. feel about you guys? Pope like you? Oh, he loves me, actually. The Pope? Have you, have you been improving relations with him? Yes. Yeah, I've, I've got my court chaplain over there. He loves me not at all, actually. <laughs> he likes me by ten. That's about it. Courtier in your butt. <laughs> Slothful, <laughs> greedy. Hmm. Flamboyant schemer. I don't like. That. I'm gonna spend this whole episode looking for somebody to make into my vassal. <laughs> what, are you over your domain limit or something? And I died. Yeah, very. <laughs> so be it. That was fast. <laughs> oh god. Uh, all right, I have an open council position now. <clears throat> yeah, take your time. I pause it for you. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. The uh, following weak claims can be pressed. Kingdom of Macedonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh god. All right. Um, uh, well, you have a safety net because you know that at least right now we're not going to attack you. Correct. And we'll help you if, if somebody else tries to. Yeah, my Mike, I got to check my vassals. Um, how much do they hate me? How much do they like me? Actually, only one is in the negatives, and it's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Everybody else is pretty okay with me. Man, this um, France is looking real nice now. He's cynical. I don't know if uh, he's. Oh, he, he's he's my. Duke of one of my areas, which is a problem. Does he have a? He's a title claimant. Short reign. All right, let's just send him a little bit of money. Um, I need to set up at a betrothal. This map looks very, very standard now. Man, this is the oh, worst part. It's just getting everybody to not hate you. <laughs> What's your strategy for that, anyway? Gifts, honorary titles, just yeah. the, the, run the gambit until the most important people like me. Do you have, um, go go press F7, go over to the known plots, and see if you have anybody you can imprison, and then just release them? I have one person, the Chancellor of Soria. Is he landed? Or is he unlanded? He's an heir to the bishopric, he's unlanded. Okay, it doesn't matter then. If you can release a count or higher level person from your realm, everyone will think you're a nice Should I, nice should I, auto, should I be <laughs> auto-stopping plots? Let's see. Uh, yeah. No reason not to, really. There's a button for auto-stop plots? Yep. Yeah, didn't you know about Th that? That must be new. It is fairly new, yep. Okay, thank God. It's, uh, yeah, F7, then it's that little checkbox. Do you want to educate one of my children? You. Oh, yeah, I'll take it's, it. It's only <laughs> fitting. I can I'll turn you it. into a good... I'll, I mean, I'll make the right choices. <laughs> most likely. <laughs> I'm just going to say okay and see what happens. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Yahya ibn Ubar. He is a religious head. If I release him, will they like me? He sounds kind of Muslim. <laughs> he is Muslim. <laughs> so why is Barcelona <laughs> Muslim at this point? No, no, they're Christian. They're uh, they're Catholic. But they're run by an emir. Mm, the Duke Duke Pere Ramon of Barcelona. Oh, sorry. No, I was looking at the um, the single county that you guys are taking here. Never mind. Yeah, there's a I, couple. I'd say. I'd say go for it, and I'll just fly by the seat of my pants here. I'll see what happens. Okay, sounds good. I don't want to keep right, cool. us stocked up for too long. I got to keep my, uh, make sure I've got a good chancellor so that this uh, fabricated claim in Ireland goes a little better. This guy is my count. <clears throat> and in the meantime, I don't even know what, what else to do now. Now that we're not fighting wars, like, I'm aren't you involved on in my, my hands. war? You yeah, should, but come on. You Your war's be. over. You should be in over. my war, but you're just kind of... Well, well that's it, because it popped up and went away. It, it seriously was on the screen for a fraction of a second. 
that's the story Mathis and I came up with in private before we started the call, and that's the story we're sticking to right. now. And it works. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a cons- it's a conspiracy, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Sincerely, though, it was up for like zero time. One thing you can do, it's also kind of fun to, uh, ooh, I have a, I'm, apparently I'm lustful or something. I've got a courtier who wants to sleep with me. Nice. Might as well, huh? Yeah, it's hurt. good to be the king. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you give away like lots of independent individual counties, and then you don't look at them, don't let them get married, then you can just mm. plot to kill them because you're their heir. And any any money that they earn, you can pull in and get basically extra income. I've oh, I've nice. got six hundred gold now, even after losing five hundred to that war. That is crazy. That's a lot. That is yep. a lot. Oh man. Uh, my chancellor doesn't like me all that much. Is there a chancellor that'd be better for me? Oh, why does this guy hate me? Yeah, I did execute your father. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's not a lie. <laughs> what What of it? <laughs> it had to happen. Stop holding a grudge. I mean, he was in my prison and he was still mad at me. And he was only going to ransom for 25 gold. So I got more than 25 gold worth of enjoyment out of executing him. That's, that's just economics. Sounded justified. <laughs> <sighs> okay, my marshal, come here, buddy. Here, I have an honorary title. Have some money. Good. How many men can fit onto a ship in CK2? 100. So it's the same as a U4. Mm, or is a well, U4 a thousand? Uh, it's one regiment, yeah. Okay. Regardless 100. of the size of the regiment, it's just one regiment. And the, are there? there's no different ship types in CK2 unless you're playing as Vikings, right? Or They're even, all the same. They're all the same. Okay, even, good. even Vikings have the same ships. They're just allowed to, to navigate the uh, the big major rivers. Only Norse mm-hmm. characters can do that. But so good Macedonia, then. you've got a five thousand stack. That's pretty good. Yeah, I had some mercs. Hmm. Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm doing what I'm, I'm working with what I got right now. I apologize for like the complete noob related questions but you you get more ships by either taking over uh taking over counties that uh have like a port or a dock or by building your own yeah yep okay obviously only coastal counties can actually have ship shipyards well luckily that is the vast majority yeah ships are very useful yeah well i've got to send men to ireland somehow well you don't have a claim for ireland it's coming. <laughs> it's on the way. <laughs> what are you yeah, trying if to? If I know one, if I know one thing in CK two, it's how to take over Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Uh, what what county are you fabricating claims on? Uh, Desmond. Oh really? Hmm. <laughs> no, is there something? I don't, that scares me. <laughs> no, are you oh, really? Trying to fabricate your own claims like further north <laughs> in the country, and then we'll meet in the middle? No, I'm just just curious. I mean, if you're watching his <laughs> video, you might want to come watch mine. This curious things are happening here. <laughs> We might be in a two-way war here soon. Oh, that'd be funny. I don't know if that can actually work. Actually, no, it would. If we both declared war on Desmond at the same time, we would be hostile to each other. <laughs> no. Don't go to Desmond, man. You take Ulster and we'll partition uh, the country in half. No, I started. I had my guy there for the last couple videos. Oh, that's so weird that we just came up with that independently. Yeah. Well, actually, I've had a guy there. I just I had to hire a new guy because he was better. But yeah, no, That's literally exactly what I just did. Yeah. Well, what's yep. your chancellor's uh, intrigue or uh, diplomacy? Nineteen. Oh shit! All right, let's roll the dice. I'm, I only have sixteen. Yeah, it's important that you get somebody at sixteen or higher because then you have a chance to get an acclaim on the duchy, which is yes. good. Is there even a duchy in? Uh... Oh just... yeah, the duchy of Munster, I guess. I just made you gregarious. You thank can thank you. I saw that. That's it's excellent. <laughs> thank me later. <laughs> Next time, I'm not going to be so kind. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make you slothful. and It's awful. And I don't think you can even... Um, I know you actually probably could change your, your guardian if I started doing bad it's things. It's come to my attention that the Chancellor of Asturias de... Astor- what? Who is this guy? Ast- uh, Asturias de Ovi- Oviedo? My guy? Yeah. What's yeah, what are you, fabricating claims on my shit? Not me. Bullshit. It wasn't. It's not me. I'm. I'm. I'm actually fabricating claims of Desmond. But um, I swear to God, it says it comes to my attention that this guy has bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize my. Oh wait, 
He's fabricated <laughs> for he has fabricated for his liege. Count Diego. Oh, so that's not you then. But it's not a roof, I should say. I have a I have master. No I'm gonna denounce him. And I have a I have an in a slow oh, daughter. Who needs an educator? Oh, Diego Fernandez de Oviedo has decided to go ahead and use it. That bastard. So it's some count. Go away. Really. Just happens to have the same name. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, good. The guy who hated me died after a period of illness. I didn't feel good about saying that halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I should probably shut up now. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Mm. Well, I got nothing better to do. I might as well brainstorm a change to my name. Go to the barber. <laughs> That's just how you spend your time. Yeah, yeah the there's barber. no wars going on, so. Well, there are. You're just not involved in any of them. Well, I, I am. I'm allowed to be in this war. Like I'm in the war technically, but you could. I think you can offer to join, if you're really. Well, I, I'm in the war for um, that like one single province there. It just looks like you guys have it under control, so. Mm-hmm. Well, you or just, are you still fighting a, a war as well? You're hostile with like the Abadid guy in Algaceras. You could just go down there and siege it, get some money. Oh no, Mathis, you have a lot of men. What? Yes. Coming towards you. Where? In Barcelona. That's not mm, my men. They're they're running away. Those are Navarro's oh, men, and they're moving somewhere else for some reason. The, oh. host, the hostile army is only right. eighty-five troops. So mm. he's fine. Oh, I see. I see. That's the guys that I'm hostile with, but they're not actually hostile to him. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever, man. I, <laughs> I'm confused. Just let it happen. Arumba, we should we should uh, collude here, man. Collude how? I'll, well, I maybe I'll take my uh, my dude out of Desmond. Well, one second, I've got to organize a church play. Um, I'll take my dude out of Desmond, and maybe I'll try to go after Wales instead. Okay. I mean, whatever you want. I was actually just okay. thinking about Sweden. I hear it's nice oh, well, this, this time of dude, year. Dude, if, if you want to go for Sweden, then by all means, figure <laughs> it out. And I'll stay it. in Desmond. How, can you even... Uh, how, how would you even get to Sweden? Boats. Yeah, but can you travel through the that like strait in Denmark? Oh, yeah. Boats can go through all that water. Uh, okay. I guess there is a, there's like a single province you could land on without even going through the strait. I say we take out Gotland. <laughs> yeah, is it actually it's independent oh yeah, man it's a republic that's cool. yeah i'm gonna go kill it and take all their boats that guy is some wild neck skin uh oh i'm <laughs> ill i might die wait i'm ill too uh oh what did we do together jesus was it the food <laughs> is this you have some food sickness. <laughs> we, we've got like we're uh, conjoined twins separated at birth or something like that. Like we do exactly the same thing in Desmond, and then we both get ill simultaneously. Yeah, people are gonna start asking questions soon. I think it's yeah. I'm ill because you're ill. Like you got to get well so I can get well. Yep. We'll see if if maybe uh, if that's what makes us both get better. If one of us gets better, the other person should get better. My air is thirteen. I should get him betrothed. Yeah, I'm looking for a good a good wife right now to get married to when I come of age. <clears throat> is there a like a betrothal? Yeah, there is. Okay, arranged betrothal. Well, you're 15, uh, so you should kind of do it soon. Get, I yeah, I am. I'm looking. Get busy. Noted. Now you know that if I educate you all the way to the end, to the end, I'm alive. I'm not. I'm, I'm no longer ill. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> weird. So weird. Um, if I keep educating strange. you, there's a very good chance you're going to become a elusive shadow. Do you want that education? That doesn't matter. Yeah, that, I, I wouldn't mind having a high intrigue. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay. I actually did okay. a lot of uh, a lot of research on it. It's like you've got basically got like a 45% chance of being level 4, 30% chance of being level 3, and then like whatever's left. Oh, something really? Else. Pretty likely. Yep. I did spreadsheets and everything. It's kind of crazy. It was fun. That is, that's not kind of crazy. That is, that's just crazy. Yeah. I like spreadsheets. Do you ever play EVE Online? Uh, I yeah. Because it's I intimidating. Really, I really want to know how to play that game well. I it's just bas don't. basically spreadsheets in space. It's fun. Fun stuff. Oh, no. What's going on? I don't know if you guys could see that trait. Do we want to see the trait? That's the real question, <laughs> I guess. 
Not a huge deal. Oh my god! <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> god damn it. I did we, not do that. Can't... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. And this is a very good time to point out that in CK2, our values do not necessarily equate to our values in real life. No, no, not at all. Yeah. True, yeah. I mean, it, it really will make it difficult for you to to carry on uh, your, your branch here. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Just um, here, here's what I'd recommend we do. I'm going to just pause for one quick sec. Let's find a Midas touched or a charismatic, like a gray eminence to, to educate you. You can be, you'll be a little effeminate if you're a gray eminence, but the <laughs> fertility bonus will offset that, and so you'll actually be able to have kids pretty easy. Okay, let's take a look. It'd be better gray than Gray eminence gets a fertility bonus? Yeah, yep, 10%. Oh. I think it's 10 or 15, can't remember. I'm looking mm -hmm. through the list. Oh, that list is really short. <laughs> there is no gray eminence here. Midas touched is one. Yep, I've got a... Gives me 15% fertility. Yep, it'll, it'll offset your penalty. All right, I'll take it. I'll send my my man. I'll send myself off to him. Cool. Well, I did, I did my best. I didn't even yep, get a pop-up. I appreciate up. it. I didn't even get a pop-up. He's just like, you're just gone. <laughs> I just snuck off in the middle of the night. Now, I did not. I am not the one that, that caused that, by the way. <laughs> my character didn't do anything. Oh, God. He found out I'm gay. <laughs> your father? No, the guy Wait. who's educating me. I forgot that your father is dead. Yeah. <laughs> And Do you also, accept me for who I am, Tello Telez? <laughs> what did he say back? Nothing. <laughs> oh no. Do I have a penalty for it? I don't have a penalty for it on him, so that's good, I guess. He's content, so maybe that helps. Ah, that's a good thing. Maybe. I mean, potentially. I'm getting, uh. I'm getting stir crazy here. Who's next? I don't know. We might have to go for the Dunnanids. That's I have a truce time with them. I tried. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember. Yes, good. that enormous war. Yeah. They, oh, you guys do whatever you want to do. I can't even take any of that land. It would make my borders look too ugly. But if I took some of Ireland, that would change everything. That is right. the plan. Let's do some. Um, oh wait, call to arms. Uh, no, you know, came Midas touched. Your brother, or sorry, our, I don't even sure if he's our brother. My, our cousin wants me to go to war with you, Mathis. Um, oh, because I declared war on him. Yeah, I, I said no to him, so we're cool. The call to arms has been received from Mathis. Yep. I accept. Oh, pause. oh, that guy. Pause. Don't, if you're going to do that, because I almost just missed it. Oh, yeah, I just, I just, oh, yeah. F yep, it's fine. Sorry. That guy is going to think that we are straight up Judas's. <laughs> <laughs> I have it's, to hire some mercs, I think. I accidentally went to fight a troop size I couldn't win there. It's, nah, it's a, all good. Humans versus AI here. Yeah, it's you're going to be fine. He's not He's not attacking me, luckily. All right, I might have <laughs> touched, so that's good. That did work out. Good. Yeah, it worked. It took him so two nice. months, and he turned you into a Midas touch. Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> really quick education. Now listen, boy, here's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plastics. How does it work? Wait, those are magnets. Uh, I love when people are like, hey, we're too poor to pay taxes, and then you have the option to just flatter and soothe and be like, oh, you're such a good mayor, I'm sure you'll figure out a way to make it work. And he's like, I am a good mayor. <laughs> All right, never mind. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was so concerned about. Uh, oh, you're coming for me. Oh, no, that's no. right. That's right. My uh, The Pope absolved my kin slaying, by the way. That's murdering murdering his sister doesn't really matter as much as it used to. Well, oh, you're losing. What are you doing? You're losing your war. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> it's not working. Why did you declare war on somebody you can't beat? Because I didn't know he had that many troops. He only raised like 2,000. Suddenly there was like 3,000 more. Hmm. Oh, man. They won't allow me to excommunicate him. I mean, I don't know if that would even have an impact. Um, We could excommunicate him and then call a holy war. I don't. That might be a little overkill. The Pope's opinion to me is at a hundred, though. So, Navarre's company is in his own. I gotta, you, I gotta run. I gotta run until you guys uh, show do, up. You, what have I'm, you I'm been doing to the Pope? I mean, how'd you get him to I, like you so much? Uh, I just um, one second. I gotta see what he's gonna get. I'm, I'm retreating into your land with my 400 men. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll get a feast prepared. Um, this one's I, all you. Uh, this one's all I've you. Had my court. Yeah, sure. No problem. I've had my court chaplain in there since like the very start of the game. God damn it, Navarro! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, that All is right, funny. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of uh, The Three Conquistadors, Crusader Kings 2 Multiplayer. As always, make sure to go check out uh, Arumba and Mathis' perspectives. There are links to their channels in the video description below or an annotation that is on the screen probably right now uh, in the next episode. More intrigue, presumably. Congratulations, Mathis, on being set up with a ruler. Maybe not exactly the guy that you wanted, but no. yeah. <laughs> at least you got something going on here. And we'll uh, continue the arms race for some of these more northern countries, I guess. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Appreciate your support on the video. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channels if you want to see more. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.